Before I get into a lot of this, I do want to recognize that we are thankful and proud of the work that the team here at the city is doing. I mean, you can go over to that EOC and you could watch Brandon at work. You could watch both chiefs at work, Elmer and all the, please extend our thanks and tell everybody we're proud of the work that's going on. It, it feels like a year, but it's only been, you know, six to eight weeks, right? And um, it really is like a marathon. So when you think about it, it it's, it, and as we talk about it, which I'll jump into now, um, we're looking at how it is that we get work back to normal, whatever that will mean at the time we get to go back to work at, in normal. And when you think about it, as I talk most of today, we're going to talk about libraries, rec centers, neighborhood centers, and municipal courts, but most of the city has been in operation this entire time, right? So the people that work in the water department, the people that work in TPW, the people that work in code, the people that work in all the fire and police, we've been providing services for our citizens this entire time. We're gonna change the focus a little bit and talk about some of our facilities, but again, I just wanna remind everybody that we've been at work you know, during this entire pandemic. When we talk about reopening city buildings and the focus really of what I'll mention today, we're talking about libraries, community centers. They closed right back on March 14th. Municipal courts closed on March 24th. And we've still been using some of those facilities for food distribution. So they're still being used in some ways also during the pandemic. A couple weeks ago, we asked Manya, where's Manya? There you go. And Brian Dickerson to put a team together to plan how we would reopen these facilities and go back to work and whatever that meant. And so I want to thank Manya and Brian for putting that team together. They're still at work, and they're the ones that prepared the plan that's in front of you. But the other thing I want to say as we go through this, I promise you it will change, right? Just like the other stuff we've learned right along the way. Texas will reopen for phase two beginning on May 18th, and that will change how we think about this plan. We'll look at what other cities are doing across Texas this week, next week, the week after that, and it will change our plan as well. The basis for the work of the team is the stuff that's been talked about. And I've got copies of all these things. Here's the Opening Up America Again plan, which was put out by the White House. This is the Governor's Texas Helping Texas plan right, that talks about Texas and the phases. And then again, we've got the one that we put together, y'all get ready. And so all those were the basis of what the team used to guide how we're going to look at it. And the other piece is the guidance from the Texas Office of Court Administration, because they're the ones that are giving guidance and direction for the opening of courts in Texas, whether it's a state court, a county court, or a municipal court. The principles that we're using as we talk about opening these facilities, the first one is, and that's why we put Chief Davis up front. We're going to use public health data, and we're going to watch it daily, and that should guide how we think about opening or whether we should or should not opening. And so when we think about the public health data, we're looking at 14-day trends of cases and 14-day trends of hospitalizations. More on that. We also want to make sure that when we open, again, libraries or rec centers or neighborhood centers, the municipal court, that our employees and the public will be safe. Just flat out, period, right? We're not going to open facilities if our employees or the public cannot be safe. And then finally, we are looking at how we modify some of our facilities. It's not unlike what you see when you go now into pharmacies or grocery stores or other facilities that are now being open to the public, we need to think about how we look at our facilities in the same way, whether it's a library, rec center, or neighborhood center. 
So the phase reopening plan, we're going to keep doing some of the things that we've uh, had in place, teleworking, where I think we've experienced and are learning that it works in a lot of different areas. We still have services that we're providing. I've talked about that. I'll make this announcement here. Manya is looking at opening up library, not opening up, let me rephrase that. Curbside service for libraries on May 18th, and we'll start communicating that this week, and she'll do it at five locations. Uh, I think those are the regional libraries. Did I get that right? All right. We're going to still require social distancing. We're going to ask at-risk employees to stay home, um, all those things. So phase one, we're shooting for uh, June 1st. Again, that's based on that we get, we achieve those public health data trends. Um, the guidance has already been sent out from the Administrative Office of Courts that there will be no in-person proceedings until at least June 1st. So they've put out guidance on that already. And again, I'll be redundant to talk about it. We're asking at-risk employees to stay home and we'll open at some capacity. These phasings are mostly taken, I want to say, from the White House plan, which they go into three phases. And the idea is you open up the first phase, you see how things happen, you evaluate the trends again, then you go to phase two. You do the same thing. You open up a little bit more, you evaluate the trends, and then you go to the last phase or phase three. So this would be phase two, the target date, and both these dates are Mondays. So it's the start of a work week, whether it's June 1st or June 29th. It assumes it will start the beginning of that week with these uh, new parameters. And again, this presumes on June 29th, we have continued success with public health trend data, and then we look at opening up city services on a broader scale. And then the theory on that again, we open, we evaluate trend data for a period of time, and so this would suggest normal operations, whatever that might look like, again, at the end of July. Um, I won't read all these to you, simply safety measures that the committee has identified. Uh, they're the same safety measures you'll, you'll read in any of those three plans, whether it's the White House, the governor's, or our local plan. And again, the focus is on public safety and keeping employees and keeping the public safe. What um, I said at the beginning, I can promise that this will change. So just like finances and the economics of it, we plan to give you an update at each of the council meetings as we move forward because we'll also be learning new things from um, what's happening around the state. Each neighborhood centers has a plan for how they're going to open those facilities, libraries the same way, and uh, recreation centers as well, and municipal court. Don't want to leave them out. 